So Ben Hostetler, I'm Operations Manager at Mountain Meadow Wool. Uh, we process raw wool into yarn as our primary business. Uh, we deal with uh, knitting companies, weavers, um, some of our stuff goes to commercial outlets, some of it goes to home use, um, home consumers. So a little bit of variety from different places throughout the country. Uh, a day here starts at 6 a.m. and we go to 6 p.m. usually someone's here from that, that time. My day usually fits somewhere in that category from the whole, the whole gamut of the, the 6 to 6. It's about a 12,000 square foot facility. Uh, we started about nine years ago in production. We never envisioned it, it would be like this. So the initial concept for the company was a craft store. About 30% of our fiber comes from hobby farms throughout the whole country. So we'll deal with farms from Florida to Maine, um, Oregon, Washington, California, uh, you name it, they send in fiber. Our large producers, these would be our, our big producer program. Um, so this would be, this whole rows here from the, the Camino Ranch to south of town. Uh, the Camino Ranch, they send a lot of fiber. We do about 10,000 pounds of their fiber per year. Uh, the raw fiber comes in. Our job, first of all, is to assess the quality. So when we get fiber from or across the country for somebody who's raising their, their sheep, um, they, they may raise a fine, a fine wool. And this would be, oh, we're running, this is a ranch from up in Montana. Um, it's nice lawn fiber. Um, it's good quality. So my first job is going to go back here and look and see what, what kind of quality fiber came in and what can we make out of it. Not all of our fiber looks this nice. A lot of it comes in and it's been sitting in a barn for maybe five years and it's, it's grandma's old sheep she used to raise and it's been sitting in the attic. It's dusty, it's dirty. Um, you open it up, it's all moth-eaten or it's full of vegetation. Um, so we go through and we'll assess it based on the quality of it. What can we make with it? I used to do a lot of the coordination with the clients to figure out um, you know, not everybody knows about yarn and how to what, what how do you go what the process goes from raw fiber to yarn. And so I've got to educate them on here's your fiber, here's what you can and can't make with it. Um, and that, so there's a lot of that coordination with the client to really figure out what they For want. For me, I got a degree in engineering, a couple of degrees in engineering. So coming into making yarn was a whole new world. So you bring in some problem solving skills, but making yarn and the, and the dynamics of it, it's very it's very different in many ways. Um, but one of my old jobs I used to have would be doing wastewater treatment plants. So my pet project in the mill is to do a, a wastewater inside wastewater treatment plant. Eventually we'll be recycling the water through a bunch of wetland test cells. So that's our, our plan long term. So that's what I, one of my daily duties is to experiment with that. My mom was one of the original founders of Mountain Meadow Wool. So you know, in 2006 or seven is when they started doing the initial idea. Um, it's been um, fun because I get to work with family. So I always tell people I have a pretty good boss but <laughs> she's, she's a really good boss. Um, I get to work with family. It's awesome seeing the ranchers. So ranchers come in and historically, the ranchers at the whim of the current market. Uh, what we're able to do with some of our ranchers is to give them a, you know, a steady price per pound per year, and hopefully it's always increasing, never going into those dips and sags. So when there are those low times in the economy, they're still able to make ends meet with their selling of their raw fiber. Um, your hobby farmers who are raising 20 pounds of fiber, maybe 100 pounds of fiber, working with them is pretty rewarding. So when a rancher comes in and they can actually find the end use for their, fi their fiber to actually make it into yarn, um, you can kind of just see that they take a sense of ownership in that, um, trying to achieve a common goal, which is to sell yarn and, and make a living. Um, so I, I'd say that's probably the most rewarding part, is to be able to be active in someone's life um, on a daily basis.